the last thing I want to get into is the president uh, a few days ago coming out in support of gay marriage. Uh, the president has been getting some flack over the last few days because initially he was on the fence about it and when asked if you know before he allegedly was on the fence well let, let's back up do a little history before when he was a senator he was for it and then when he ran for president he was against it since he's been president he's been formulating his opinion and then last week he came out and said that he's for gay marriage so for one I have somewhat of an issue with him being somewhat wishy-washy on the subject you either for it or you're not for it um you know it's a situation where people want to know where you stand on it uh don't go back and forth it's a moral issue and you either for it or you're not for it it's not something that as a as a man in his 40s you're just now thinking about you knew how you felt tell us how you felt let's move on from it but now that it's out what i really want to talk about is not so much his position on it but more so the greater issue of the fact that uh, gays want to have the right to be married and the president has now made his opinion so Carlton I'm going to start with you I want to ask you two questions I want you to touch on one uh, does do I'll ask you like Barbara Walters or Diane Sawyer or Robin Roberts I think Max actually I think it was Robin Roberts who asked the president I'll ask you straight out like she asked him are you for it or against it one and two do you have a problem with the president being for or against it I, I'm on the fence with it. Honestly, I sounds I, I like bring, the president. I, I, yeah, <laughs> I, I had I have to be. I, I had this conversation with my mother the other day. Which you're when you are saying you're off for it, you are. Again, I have friends who are of the lesbian, gay, transgender, whatever. I I don't know the whole thing. That's right. Uh, no, of that you, of that of that faith. That's accurate. And the way you laid it out is accurate. Okay, I have friends of that nature, and the thing is. How do you teach the children of tomorrow what is the right? Mm, well, I can't say it's right because, well, from a biblical standpoint, it is right that male and female interact and develop and create the next generation. Whereas when you have two men, two women, you can't create that. You are putting something out there that, in a lot of eyes, it's evil. Well, let me ask you this, and I and I, I don't want to cut you off, but I want to take this step by step. What if you're not religious? Then if you, what? If you're not religious, then you know there's a separation of church and state. But okay, all right. And the church, and it's up to the church to marry you or the state. But then also the state is supposed to set the laws on who can marry and what they can marry. If I'm not mistaken, you know you have laws that say certain ages. You can't do certain things. Right. And then you have book laws that say, you know, just crazy things. So are you going to go back and rewrite the rules that say one versus the other? And now that this is something that we should accept? I don't know. I, I'm not a politician. I don't want to be a politician. When we say separation of church and state, I'm glad you said that. I'm glad you said it like that because a lot of people are giving the president flack for having a personal opinion. This isn't someone who uh, is standing in a pulpit. This isn't someone who is writing legislation. Mm -mm. You asked a man his personal opinion. He gave you his personal opinion. We can't come at him toting our Bibles and expecting him to have the same opinion that you have. Now, we've all read it. We know what it says, Big Root, but when an individual has an opinion are we going to hammer them for it is that appropriate and another person that came out and supported gay marriage this week was was sean carter also known as jay-z so we got two prominent black males who have come out in the last week and supported gay marriage big rube same questions i asked carl one i mean you can't my opinion on if they should or not sure why not two um, I don't remember what the second question was. Second question is: Should we be basic? Basically, should we be hammering the president for having an opinion? We hammer the president for everything, um, whether he has an opinion or not. My opinion is that, as you mentioned earlier, he's gone back and forth. You either for it or against it. 
If you don't have an opinion, then you should not state one. Right. If you are not 100% sure of your opinion on whatever topic you have, you should not state one. Right. That is his flaw, right. unfortunately. Right. As um, far as I'm concerned, unmarried black male right here, no kids, I have no problem with it. Now, I understand the, the Bible Belt and the church and state and all that beautiful stuff. However, if we really want to get on to the, the, the Bible pulpit, as it were, last time I checked, God or the denomination that you believe in, if you believe in one, last time I checked, created all of us, you know, or we will create it some way, form another. Now, things happen for a reason. Why should I care if two people who love each other and want to spend the rest of their life together want to legally be married and legally pay taxes and legally be able to go and adopt a child right why why should i care about that that's none of my business ladies and gentlemen you are listening to ain't no half stepping with marcus J. A a pivotal moment has just happened you may not be aware but i'm going to share it with you big rube and marcus J. Have agreed. <laughs> <laughs> Big Rube and Marcus J have agreed. Hey, look, as Carlton likes to say, kind of in a joking way, hey, everybody has a right to be miserable, okay? You know, they want to get married, let them go ahead and be married. I don't have an issue with it. Male and male, female and female, male and female. We understand two dudes can't make a baby, two chicks can't make a baby. A dude and a chick make a baby. We get it. We get all that, okay? Me personally, I'm not governed by religion I'm just not I'm not someone who uses that as my way to persecute others and that's what it is I'm a very spiritual man anybody who knows me knows that but I'm not someone who follows a specific religion so I don't come at you and say well the Bible says this so you can't do that well you know what the Bible says you can't have sex unless you get married how many people in church doing that Amen. The Bible says you can't have sex with, with with somebody that's already with somebody. But it's a lot of people doing that. Speech. But at the same time, you want to get mad with somebody for being gay. I sat in church on Sunday and I listened to the preacher stand up there and basically call the president out. He was very subtle about doing it and he was very respectful about doing it. But he made his point. He made his point. So my question to that pastor and all the other pastors who had question about the president's uh, pronouncement this week and Jay-Z's pronouncement this week and Big Rubes and Marcus J and those of us who support gays and their right to be married, my question is this. Next Sunday, your next opportunity in church, are you going to ask every single person in your congregation that's gay to stand up so you can identify them and refund them their tithes? You going to do that? Probably not. Sin is sin, right? Doesn't matter where the money comes sin is, from. Sin is sin. So if you're fornicating or you're adultering or you're gay, sin is sin, right? So what's the difference? Why are you giving these people all this grief? You're not going. You're not going to give them their money back. So quit being a hypocrite. Real talk. Quit being a hypocrite. Don't half step around here. Yes. I mean, it just, it just, it just kills me how these people want to take this book and they want to give it to you as they see it. Look, the grand architect of the universe put this book out here for us to use as a ruling guide but it is a ruling guide guide you can choose to follow it you can choose to not follow it just because you choose not to follow it doesn't mean you've been led astray it just means you went your own way so all this they're wrong and 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 beat the gay out of them and you know, taking boys to whorehouses so that they can have sex with girls so that they cannot be gay no more and all this kind of nonsense and, and, and Big Rue's making the face, but real talk, dude, that's how they used to do it. That's how they used to do it. That's how they used to beat the gay out of you 100 years ago or 50 years ago. They take you to a whorehouse and get you a girl when you was a little bit, you know, fem effeminate. That's how they got it out your system. Mm. And so, like I said, you a pastor, you listening to Ain't No Half Stepping with Marcus J right now, and you got gay people in your congregation and you not feeling them, give them their money back. That's it. Ain't No Half Stepping Marcus J. We're going to leave it there. Y'all got me fired up right now, and I'm going to leave it there so I can get myself together, so I can get into the rants and the closes with my brothers. Marcus J. Ain't No Half Stepping. We'll be back in about a minute. <laughs>